they were thinking more about runs than taking wickets. So easily you can be lured into that sense of false insecurity by looking to defend in the middle stages of the innings, not realizing that uh, when a side has wickets in hand, anything can happen. Excellent shot. Well, that's a strength, Amir Sohel's. Anything that is shot, he's going to pounce on it very quickly. And here, Srinath trying to dig it in. But Amir Sohel in lovely position, just helping it over mid wicket. What the Indians must look to do is try and bowl a line just outside off stump and make Amir Sohel use his front foot. Good save. Jadeja did it with the bat. Now he's doing it in the field. Well, it certainly seems to be his day so far. Batted magnificently. And this is the kind of fielding that can really lift the other players in the side. Saved a certain boundary there, diving to his right. Kapoor fielding for the injured Navjot Sidhu, who pulled the muscle while batting. And here straight away brought into play. It's five for North. So 48 overs left, 283 more runs required. And really Pakistan would be looking for this opening pair to give them a flying start. Well, that's uh, a pretty big task for Pakistan. They've got to do it under lights. It's the first time that... Uh, We've had an international match played under lights here at Chinnaswamy Stadium. India leaving uh, Prabhaka out of this quarter-final side. So the new ball bowler in this game will be uh, Prasad, Venkatesh Prasad. Oh, that's a lovely shot. He really is very talented, uh, Saeed Anwar. And Venkatesh Prasad here is welcomed to the bowling crease with a superb piece of timing by Saeed Anwar. A little bit of room outside that off stump, but he really just stroked it through the covers. A lovely piece of timing. And really, the course of this match could well be dictated in the first 15 overs. India, at the moment, have their nose ahead. and shot as well already I think we're seeing the difference between these two left-handers Saeed Anwar is a very wristy player but uh, I think he's a little more talented than Sahail and he will take less risks even in the first over Sahail was having to take risks in an attempt to hit boundaries this man they'll come pretty easily to him well, he loves it coming on to the bat and this new ball is coming on to the bat and uh, like Ian Chappell said he's such a good timer of the ball very talented player. Said Anwar has a strike rate of close to 80 for his career, which is a very good one. Nice to see Tendulkar coming up there and having a chat with Prasad, because this is where India might just miss Manoj Prabhakar. 
So he is a very experienced cricketer. Has a very good record against Pakistan. And uh, in a game where temperament is so important, he could have been vital for India. Empire Bakur is unmoved. Well, what that appeal certainly did was uh, distracted Empire Steve Buckner and allowed the Indians to get away with a wide. It really was a half-hearted appeal by both the bowler and the keeper. No slip in place. I think that's a mistake with the hail on strike. I think they should have a slip for him at least. You're right, Ian. I think they should have a slip for both the players because... These are two flamboyant batsmen. If they're in there for 15 overs, they can really get Pakistan off to a flying start. What the Indians need is to pick up wickets at this stage and not make the mistake Pakistan did earlier in the innings. That's well run. It's none for 15. Well, he will be the fifth bowler used today at Tendulkar. Because India really are one bowler short. And I'm sure the Pakistani batsmen will have that in mind. because this still is a very good wicket. Very pretty city of uh, Bangalore. And as we look at the Chinnaswamy Stadium under lights, it's a magnificent sight. Once again, they try the appealing trick and uh, it seems to have worked. No wide call. Well, just straying again down the leg side is Srinath. And really is lucky not to be called there because the empires these days very strict on anything that's even marginally down leg side. And Jardasia misses on this occasion. Well, there's a hush in the crowd. But the Pakistanis won't mind that. Another brilliant square cut by Amir Sohail. Helped here by Jadeja. He may have got a bad bounce here. But really not keeping his eyes on the ball and allowing it to go for four runs. So the Pakistani is really off to a flyer at the moment. I've been very impressed with Bangalore, uh, Ravi. It's a nice looking city. It's a city of gardens, Ian, and uh, climatically, easily one of the best cities in India. And really, the crowd here warming up to this occasion. The first game being played here under lights. And I tell you what, so far, they've got their money's worth. 288 scored by India. And Pakistan already off to a flyer. 20 and just 2.3 overs. Good work there from Nayan Mongia. He was up very quickly, sensing that uh, Sahel was looking for the single. Well, just seeing the tactics of successful sides in this tournament, uh, the opening batsmen don't mind going after the bowling in the first 15 overs. Let's hear uh, Saeed Anwar playing a little bit too early. And then uh, during the middle stage of the innings, that's between the 20th and 35th over. As long as they have wickets in hand, they can milk the bowling.
at the toss. Amir Sahail said a couple of times that uh, his team was very confident despite the loss of Wasim Akram. Akram out of the uh, team because of a side injury. Felt that he was somewhere between 70 and 80 percent to fit. But he didn't think that that was good enough to play in such an important game. Bouncing that one uh, into the square area and went straight over the top of uh, Uzz's head. 21 for North. Srinath. Uh, the tighter of the two opening bowlers so far and certainly a little quicker lights here at the uh, Chinnaswamy Stadium have been provided by the same people who uh, provided the lights for the Gabba cricket ground uh, that's in Brisbane in Australia they are the latest of the lights uh, at the Australian cricket grounds Adelaide Oval uh, are in in the process of being erected two shots by Anwar in the last over square of the wicket on either side has prompted Azaruddin to drop a man back a deep point and pull up his fine leg and that's just encouragement for the batsman to try and go over square leg now this is good clever cricket by Saeed Anwar like we said there is a man a deep point on the offside he knows that the Indians don't have too much cover on the onside and here Gets his foot outside the line of off stump and just helps it helps the ball on its way over square leg. And one thing is pretty clear that these two Pakistani openers are not intimidated by the total of 288. And the deep point has been brought up. That's Jadeja. drop back into the uh, backward square leg boundary so it's a little game of chess being played out here <laughs> and that's where he really likes to hit through the offside Now this is again a glorious piece of timing. It wasn't a bad ball, but really just the talent of the man. Superb hit on the up. By hitting that one boundary through the onside or over the onside, Said Anwar has got what he wants. He prefers to go that way through the offside because he's a very good player there and there's a lot less risk. He took the risk to get the boundary over backward square leg and now he's got the field placing that he wants so he's batting on his terms he's got the percentages a little bit in his favor well this is not a bad tactic by Prasad coming round the wicket because what's that what's going to happen now is he's not going to allow Saeed Anwar to use his arms but he's got to tuck him up by bowling middle and off stump he's got a man a deep square leg to cover North. Mm -hmm. 
Nayan Mongia having a chat with Venkatesh Prasad. It really is a good sign because very often the keeper is missed. He is in the he's in the best position to judge what line the bowler should bowl. Good start for Pakistan. 10 to Amir Sahail, 19 to Said Anwar. But boy, don't they need a good start. The original um, asking rate was 5.87, requiring 288 runs for victory off 49 overs because they didn't bowl their overs quickly enough. They've dragged the rate down just a little. That could well have been out, although uh, Said Anwar is complaining to the umpire there about the bowler's positioning. Well, this would be interesting to see. Anwar isn't happy that Srinath was in the way. Srinath complaining to him that it wasn't his fault. There, once again, we see Sahail taking the risk, giving himself a bit of room. Well, he's a swashbuckling opener, is Amir Sohail. And here you could see, even before Srinath bowled, he was looking to give himself room. And really, he's smashed this through the offside. What Pakistan needs at this stage is for this partnership to carry on for about 15 overs. Point goes back to the boundary now. Jadeja in that position. Said Anwar uh, banging into Srinath earlier in the over when they were running through for a single. Srinath was, uh, well, he was yelling at the fieldsman to get the ball and throw the stumps down. Said Anwar had a problem because uh, Sahail was running on the other side of the pitch. He couldn't go that way. He went uh, to the bowler's side of the pitch and found that he was blocked there. So he was like um, a crook with all the the uh, getaway avenues blocked off. Said uh, Anwar has now scored just over 300 runs in this tournament at an average of uh, 100. These two have played a big part in Pakistan's success. Well bowled. Well, this is a good delivery from Srinath. A bit of movement and bounce. Beating Amir Sohail on that back foot. Again, looking to score at every opportunity is Amir Sohail. But really, on that occasion, cramped for footwork. Once again, he's prepared to take the risk. Amir Sahail, it's 41 for North. Well, this really is a good start by Pakistan, scoring at over eight runs per over already. Forty-one for naught, Pakistan. After five overs, 
They're an over short because uh, they were slow with their with their rate. So they've really got to get a move on. Well, this is the shot in the last over. It's interesting technique by Amir Sohel. He gets back on that back foot and he's a little open. So what he's looking to do is if the bowler gives him any width, he's going to go bang through the offside. But anything short, he's looking to hit the bowler over mid-wicket. And he was successful on that occasion. Well, now suddenly in this uh, tremendous battle of tactics, uh, things have swung back to Pakistan because we were talking earlier about uh, how they would have to go after Kumble. But uh, they forced India's hand. They've got Kumble into the attack when at a point where he can only have two men out in the outfield. So that uh, really gives the batsmen some opportunities to score runs off Kumble without quite the risk that they would take later in the innings when um, uh, Azaruddin would be able to place his field differently. So this has been a tremendous battle of tactics, uh, attack and counter-attack. I think this is a good move by India to get Kumble into the attack. They took a long time in, in getting him into the attack in the game against Sri Lanka. In fact, after 15 overs when Jay Surya and uh, Kalu Vitarana were going hammer and tongs. But now Kumble, who is known for his accuracy, has a job on his hand because Venkatesh Pasad was very expensive. And the two overs he bowled. Immediately a bit of bounce there to encourage Kumble. Well, that's been his strength. Not only was there bounce, but that ball straightened as well after pitching. man at deep backward square and with the kind of start Pakistan has got the two openers don't need to go potty out there Kumble is India's trump card and it would be wise if they can just milk him with singles and twos and uh, like Ian Chappell said because he's allowed only two men in the outfield wait for the loose delivery I don't think Amir Sahel has ever considered being a dairy farmer, uh, Ravi. No milking in his dictionary. Certainly by the look of this shot, he's not going to waste any time out there. But he's got to be careful. They need a captain's innings from him. Big shout there from the bowler. Umpire Bucknor not interested. I think spare a thought for these two umpires. Enormous pressure on them with this crowd reacting to every uh, every question that's been asked but that was a bit high I think what uh, saved him there was the ball just pitched outside that leg stump <laughs> this really is a terrific over first up from Kumle he is the local boy he comes from the state of Karnataka Really, that ball after pitching really went through quickly to the keeper. That's a good start by Kumble, 42 for North. Physio has come out to administer a bit of treatment there to Saeed Anwar, but also uh, one of the other players, looks like Saklain, has come out with him, supposedly to bring a drink to the batsman, but I think there might have been a whispered message to Sahail saying, uh, just calm down a little bit against Kumble, because all that wild swinging has done has produced a whole lot of dot balls. I think the suggestion might have been along the, the lines that Ravi was talking about. Just push some singles around. Try and pick up uh, the extra runs against the quicker bowlers. 
well, Ian, it could have also been that you've uh, had four dot balls in the previous over. Give Srinath the charge because Saeed Anwar there was really down the track even before Srinath let go that delivery. Yes, I think we're actually leading with the chin trying to predict what these two guys might do because that's why they're so good. They are unpredictable. Not quite timed, but safe. Calling must be very difficult out in the middle. Huge amount of noise uh, every time something happens at this Chinnaswamy Stadium. And uh, really difficult to hear the calls. And this really is only the start of the Pakistan chase. One can just imagine after 25 overs if uh, the game is evenly poised. The noise could be well, well be unbearable. Srinath coming around the wicket to Sahail. Well, that's smashed, but on the first bounce to Jardasia, almost uh, a catch, he hit it so well. This pairing have been very consistent uh, after a, a couple of misses early. That was when Sahail missed out in the first two games. Last three games, they've uh, got half-century partnerships. They're well on the way to a fourth one in succession. So Srinath will come over the wicket to uh, Saeed Anwar. Katapati Raju has got a good technique fielding in the outfield. He does a, a very good job. Very important with the outfield being so fast that uh, you keep your eyes on the ball till the very last minute. Because every run could be crucial in this game. a bit of a wild village yahoo from Amir Sahail. Well again Soil looking to hit him over the infield on the onside but I guess that's the line and length Srinath should bowl. He's been guilty of bowling a little sh too short in the last couple of games we've seen him. If he gets into that three-quarter length, making the batsman play more of the front foot, he has a better chance of picking a wicket. It's 49 for North. Seven overs, Pakistan 49 for naught. Anil Kumble has had the best over of the innings for India. Well, that's six. And the 50 partnership, that is a long way back. This really is a huge hit from Saeed Anwar. He really tucked himself into Kumble here. Opened his shoulders and hit it many a mile into the crowd. Really picked this one up beautifully. You already see the change in tactics between Anwar and Sohel. Sohel was trying to sweep Kumle every ball in the previous over. Saeed Anwar noticing the huge gap between square leg and long on. Picked his spot to perfection.
and uh, Azaruddin is being asked to just come in a little bit. He's, I think he's telling the umpire that he'll just walk into pace with two with the bowler. Chance at the bowler's end. Well, Pakistan have succeeded uh, in putting India on the back foot. It's a fairly defensive approach at the moment from India. That's what Pakistan want. Oh, excellent shot. Beautiful positioning of the feet. This is a superb cricketing shot by Amir Sohel. Even before the bowler bowl, he's moved outside that leg stump and really just gone through the line and hit it through extra cover. Good thinking cricket this. And this is where the problems could start for India. The main bowler, Anil Kumble, has started going for runs. I think that uh, Azza should be encouraged, though, by the fact that uh, Sahail, in particular, is taking a, a fairly big risk against the main bowler. That's got to be in favour of India. Said Anwar would be the guy who'd be worrying me because he's not taking too many risks. Just beaten by a very good ball on that occasion. Well, that really skittered through after pitching. Kumle's strength, the amount of pace he gets after the ball pitches, really hurries through to the keeper. Sahail calling Enwar through, it's 62 for naught. This has been a fantastic contest so far. Frenetic, I think, is probably uh, the right word. We've seen brilliant batting, attack and counter-attack. The crowd, uh, well, they enjoyed the first half of it. A little bit quiet at the moment. But we're seeing some very good cricket. The gentleman uh, next to me in the commentary position has got a... Well, he's one of the judges of the, uh, the player of the, of the competition. And that's just going to clear mid-on. And in fact, it's going to keep running and away to the boundary. Ravi, I don't, uh, I don't envy your task. It's not going to be easy. Certainly isn't, and especially with the way these two openers are going. They've had a good tournament, and here, Sai Danwar looking to actually hit it over mid-wicket, but getting enough bat on it to hit it straight and carry all the way into the fence. Yes, uh, there is a lovely prize for the Grill's most valuable player of this tournament, a magnificent Audi A4 state of the art as far as German technology is concerned. And really, and that's it. Really is a beautiful car. Racing red, that's uh, definitely your colour, Ravi, and go uh, beautifully around the streets of Bombay, the way they drive around there, just what you need to slip in and out of the traffic. If it has to be driven in Bombay, India will have to win this game. Now that's the line Srinath should bowl, the length, more important. He spits the ball up there, he's allowed the ball, uh, he's given rather the ball a chance to move. And there he beats uh, Amir Sohel, all ends up. I guess when you uh, there's so many expectations about a game, you're always worried that it uh, that it won't be a good game of cricket, and uh, that all the, the hype and uh, so on, the match doesn't uh, come up to expectations. But we've had a thriller here. There's some very exciting cricket, and it looks as though it could go uh, right through to the to the end at that sort of pace. 
uh, certainly looks at this stage with the kind of start Pakistan have got. They're scoring at over eight runs per over. Similar to the start Sri Lanka got against India when they chased that huge score of 273. Again. Again, what a magnificent piece of timing by Saeed Anwar. This really is unbelievable batting. He just got inside the line of that ball and uh, literally flicked Srinath into the stands. Well, I saw him get his century against uh, Sri Lanka at the Adelaide Oval a few seasons ago and he flicked one up onto the stands in that uh, match up onto the roof of the stands at the Adelaide Oval and it was just a similar thing to that just a flick of the wrist and you thought oh yeah that's not a bad shot and suddenly you heard this clunk when it landed on the roof and that's a pretty good shot as well he just really pushed out at that with his hands and the timing was um, immaculate again a good piece of feeling by Jadeja what the Indians need to do at this stage is to slow down things Maybe some of the senior players just go and have a chat with Srinath because from the look of things he seems to be hurrying back to his bowling mark Especially when runs are being scored so freely There's no harm in breaking the tempo Strike rate of 96 for this tournament Said Anwar That was well hit 72 for naught Well, this amazing start has got the uh, target down to a more manageable uh, level. 216 needed from 40 overs. In the commentary position now, Sunil Gavaskar and Tony Gregg. Thanks again. Yes, eight per over. That's uh, pretty good going, isn't it? It's uh, taken the required rate down to 5.4. So uh, all of a sudden, that Indian total not looking quite as flash as it did at the end of their innings. There's the comparison. And... Uh, it's more than double. Well, um, let's have a look at the field here. There's a deep square leg and a deep wide long on. And those are the two fieldsmen in the deep. And the rest are all saving one. Anil Kumbli again. And it's blasted away through the offside. That's a lovely shot again. It's just impossible to hold these two back. They are really playing some fantastic shots. Yes, they are, and uh, it's been thrilling to watch. But one has to also take uh, a point with the Indian uh, bowling because uh, the Indian bowlers have bowled to them just the right length for them to use uh, their arms freely. That's been just a little bit shorter, and uh, it's got past the mid-wicket fieldsman, so they'll get another single. So that's the one they're going to have to be a little careful of. Uh, that pull shot, the ball tends to bounce a little bit when he bowls the top spinner. He, he has already turned the odd one in, and they have gone quiet. And almost stunned they are, having uh, been on such a high at the end of the Indian innings. All of a sudden, it's a worry. It's gone square leg, and uh, they'll get one again. Well, this is uh, the home crowd for uh, the three bowlers used so far, Srinath Prasad and Kumble. And the crowd uh, naturally a little quiet, seeing uh, their uh, favourite sons being clobbered around by uh, the Pakistani batsmen. Again, it's short, and uh, that area is covered, but it's not covered dead square. The placement has been very good too. That is a rank long hop, and uh, if you really are attacking, it's the sort of delivery you'd uh, you'd be wishing for. And uh, this was dispatched with consummate ease. Yes, it was short, 
and just the right That's kind of delivery to, to employ the pull. But the Indians have not tried anything uh, different. Now Kumble is trying uh, something different. He's trying to come round the wicket. Srinath has bowled a predictable line where the batsmen have uh, taken him apart. He's not tried to bowl uh, a Yorker at all where he'll cramp the batsman. He didn't know where that one had gone. It doesn't seem to me there's going to be any holding back here. Normally, if you get yourself uh, to say 60 odd in uh, six or seven overs, there's a real case for saying, right, oh, well, we'll keep uh, playing positively, but we won't take quite as many risks. But these two, it just seems to me they want to go for it all the way. That's better. That's nicely pushed away and uh, comfortably through for the single. Again, a good over that one for Pakistan. 12 runs from it, 84 without loss.